Germany downgraded its coronavirus risk level on Tuesday, but health officials have a new problem. There are concerns about possible fraud from coronavirus testing. In some places, the number of tests given does not match the bill the government is getting. And there are fears that some of the private companies behind these centres are trying to make quick money from quick tests. Ryan Thompson reports from Frankfurt. After more than six months in lockdown, nearly all of Germany is reopening. But getting back to normal here is strictly guided by testing. No negative swab from the last 24 hours means no dining and no shopping. To make it easier, every resident is entitled to one free rapid test per week. The government pays private operators to do it at about $22 per swab. But as more Germans are getting tested, there are new fears about possible fraud. And government officials say the numbers don't always add up. There is a suspicion, a well-founded one as far as I can see, of fraud with criminal intent at some testing stations. Fraud is a disgrace and prosecutors are on the case. Over the weekend, German media reported that the rapid test process was out of control, with few federal states even knowing how many citizen tests are taking place. That's despite the fact that the costs to Germany's 16 states are quickly rising. 550 Menschen nutzten die Möglichkeit zum kostenlosen Bürgertest. The same report also investigated newly opened testing centers in North Rhine-Westphalia. At one, 977 tests were billed to the government, but journalists there only counted 80 people. But healthcare privacy rules are not on the government's side in this case. Test centers are not allowed to disclose the names of the people who have visited. And on top of that, they don't even have to provide receipts to prove they've purchased all of the tests that they say they've given. Political commentators note this is not the first time the government has been in hot water. First of all, it's another failure of the crisis management of the government. And it's not only about fraud, it's only about public health because some of the test stations did not perform the tests in the right way. With testing so essential to reopening, how can they crack down on this? The government really needs to say now who is in charge of doing the control of the um, individual test stations. And it's not that easy to find um, the right um, the right body for that because we have public health um, administrations in the um, different regions, but they're very busy uh, with the other tasks um, related to the pandemic, and they actually are overwhelmed with work already. Those regional health officials met with the federal government in Berlin Monday, and though nothing firm was decided, people at the meeting say it's likely that tax authorities will be taking a closer look at some of the company's books. Ryan Thompson, CGTN, Frankfurt.